Good morning, students. So we will start the new chapter today, which is name as voice. The last class was about question tag. The questions were given to you. The PDF was given to you. I hope you all have understood the chapter. But now today we will start the new chapter, which is named as voice. <coughs> so look at the definition first. What is the definition of the voice? It is voice is a form of word which indicates whether the subject of the word does the work or is acted upon. Means whenever we write a sentence, so the structure is subject, verb, and object. The verb is very important, right? As the verb connects the subject and object as well. So such kind of sentence where verb indicates the subject is doing work or subject is acted upon. If the subject is doing a work, then the sentence, the verb is called in active. Right? And when the subject is acted upon, then the verb is known as passive. That is why here we read the kinds of uh, the kinds of word as active and passive. Let me give you an example as uh, we teachers and students how we are active and passive. This is the block of teacher and this is the block of students, right? At the time when teacher is teaching or writing something on the board, then the active person is teacher, and the students are just looking at the board or listening to the teacher, right? So at that time when teacher is doing the work, he is in active and students are in passive. Right? So we simply say the teacher is teaching the student. Teacher is teaching, means the word teaching the word is doing by the teacher. Here it is being done by the teacher. So teacher is active as teacher is teaching. Who is teaching? Teacher is teaching. In this sentence, teacher is Teaching the subject is and uh, subject subject is active and subject is the doer and that's why the verb is in active. But the same sentence when we write the students are being taught, then the subject goes at the end and the object of the first sentence comes in the uh, uh, in the first place. That's why the subject is just acted upon. Though it is uh, thus it is called in passive. Right? So here they uh, might be confused as the teacher and student both are living. I am just taking one more example. Ram eats an apple. It is a, it is a non-living thing and Ram is what? Living. So Ram can do a word. Here eating. Khani ka kam. Who is doing? Ram. That's why the word is inactive. But when apple comes here and takes the place of subject, then apple being a non-living thing can't do any work. That's why this subject, uh, the object comes and takes the place of subject and this round goes at last. That is why this for the subject is acted upon. So here apple is eaten by round. You cannot say that eaten is by apple because apple cannot eat anything. Apple cook high up there, apple nick hot air, because apple is non living thing and it cannot do any work like human or living things do, right? So it is very easy to understand what is active and what is passive, right? Now the definition, but before definition, let me tell you voices of three kinds. So you might be thinking active and passive is there. What is the third one? Third one is quasi passive. Quasi passive is also a part of voice. It will be taught later. Just look at them. First one is active. When the subject of the sentence is the door, the verb is inactive. जब किसी sentence का जो subject होता है ना अगर वो काम कर रहा है, वो अगर काम कर रहा है तो वो verb जो है active कहलाता है. क्योंकि the subject is active. क्योंकि वहाँ पे subject काम कर रहा है. Active. Like teacher की तरह जैसे मैंने कहा students को लेकर. Here the example is given. Rahu eats the mango. I have written also here. Rahul eats a mango. The word is it. Kaun kha raha hai? Rahul. Rahul active hai. Rahul kaam kar raha hai. Rahul khane kaam kar raha hai. That's why here I have written, I have written subject jo hai wo khane ka kaam kar raha hai. It's. That's why this word is inactive. Now look at the definition of 
पासे when the subject of the sentence is acted upon the verb is in passive जब subject के द्वारा काम किया जाता है then it is known as passive because there is one more thing because the subject is passive over here क्योंकि वहाँ पे subject जो है ना वो passive वो वो वहाँ पे चुपचाप रहता है like the students as यहाँ पे देखो apple के example पहले लिया गया है subject apple को खाया जा रहा है यहाँ पर राम का नाम ही नहीं लिया गया राम को एंड में जोड़ दिया गया राम के द्वारा बट हमारा जो मेन फोकस ऑन द सब्जेक्ट इज गिवन एज एपल दैट्स वाई इट इज नोन एज पैसे सो हियर इट इज गिवन एन एग्जाम्पल अ मैंगो इज इटेन बाय राहुल हियर द मैंगो विच वॉज एन ऑब्जेक्ट कम्स इन द प्लेस ऑफ सब्जेक्ट एंड द राहुल द वर्ड द सब्जेक्ट गोज एट द एंड सो हियर इटेन इज डन बाय राहुल इट सेल्फ बट The 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 is is taken in the place of subject. So here we can say that the subject is acted upon. That's why it is in passive. So Rahul is passive over here at the end of the sentence as an object over here, right? But it is not an object. Actually, the subject is taken at the last of the sentence uh, to make into passive, right? Because we are giving the priority to the object of the sentence. So this is how we understand the active and passive. But the most important thing is uh, how. We convert from active to passive. There are some rules. I'm going to write the rules first because if you learn the rules, then it will be very easy to change into passive. So some uh, rules I'm going to write over here, and this will be the only thing that I will teach today. I won't take any example today changing into passive because uh, uh, you must know the rules before. Then it will be easier for you to change into passive. So first of all, we will learn the rules, right? The first thing, rules for point to understand, right? Remember, number one, first point is the sentence. Having main word can be changed into passive. Very important line, very important point. How the sentence having main word? It simply means the sentence that has an uh, that has a main word is uh, also has. Helping verb because without helping verb you cannot write a main verb. Exceptions are there like present indefinite and past indefinite and future indefinite also. But at the time when the auxiliary verb used as main verb when when auxiliary verb are used as main verb. The sentence cannot be changed into passive. Now let me give you an example. What I have written first: the sentence having main verb, including helping verb, can be changed into passive. But the auxiliary verb, when the auxiliary verbs are used as main verb, the sentence can't be changed into passive. Let me give you example. Then I will write the third point. First of all, point number one that says Rahul eats a mango. That I have given example before. So here the main verb is eats, right? But this verb, this main verb has has a helping verb as well as does plus v1, right? So here main verb is also given along with the helping verb. This will be changed into passive. No problem. But in this point, point number two, where auxiliary verb is used as main verb, like she is a doctor. So here is is only the verb, and this auxiliary verb is the main verb over here, right? This cannot be changed into passive. This is why I have given I have written with this point. You might not get such points in the book, but this is very important to know because sometimes such type of sentences come in front of you and you. 
just uh, start worrying that how will it be converted but such kind of sentences are not converted into passive right so for passive you must have helping plus main verb only helping as main verb can't be changed the sentence must have main verb right that has five forms like present past past participle present participle and ses form right it also has but it works like main verb in the sentence right for such sentences she is doing a work now here you may see the doing word is the main word and is becomes the helping so this sentences will be converted into passive but the sentence that was written before as she is a doctor cannot be changed right so not only is but is am are was were all the auxiliary even modal auxiliary also cannot be changed if that hasn't because modal auxiliary does not complete says with uh, only modal auxiliary because modal auxiliary always Uh, written with a B one, like she can do a word. She can do this word, right? So this sentence we can convert, but she can this word, this sentence. This is not a sentence because this doesn't give any meaning, right? This sentence can be done, but this sentence cannot be changed into passive, right? So here. Two point have been discussed. Now the third point. Third point is the subject and the object of the sentence are replaced, and subject is. subject is preceded by the word by or with we can use here right it means subject word object object comes here subject goes there then object word and by the subject this is the thing i have written over here right now the fourth point is past participle past participle is used which is known as v3 in passive at the time of changing active into passive you must know that only v3 word will be used if you have subject uh, you have v1 in active that will also be converted into v3 If you have V2 in active, that will also be converted into V3. If you have V4, that will also be converted into V3. So what is changed? The helping verbs are changed at the time of making passive from active. Like if there is is going, that going will be converted into gone, but is will be converted into is plus be in the ability to know in the chapter. Okay, when we start with the example. But the main thing is. past participle which is v3 is always used in passive the most important thing right so now you must be thinking about v3 how will we understand but there will be no problem in passive but uh, let me tell you there are some irregular verb oh, sorry regular verbs that has the same forms of past and past participle how will we know In the active voice, the कौन सा word जो है वो v2 है और कौन सा word जो है वो v3 है. It's quite easy. When subject has the ed word without any helping word, that word is v2. And when subject has ed word, the regular word with helping word, it is v3. Quite simple. If I if uh, I write an example or I just say I played cricket, I played. That means I do not or uh, does not have helping word. So here played is V two. If I say the same sentence using helping word, I have played. I played and in between there is a word have the helping word. It means this played is V three. That is past participle. 
in any kind of sentence either it is active or it is passive if there is in passive all the time you have to uh, you have to be agree with the v3 because in passive only v3 is used but in active don't worry wherever you get any verb with ed or the regular verb in the past tense or past participle don't confuse if there is helping verb that verb is in past participle v3 and if there is no verb that will be v2 that is called the past tense past verb right the second form of the verb this is uh, the thing second uh, number fifth fifth uh, i must erase point number four fifth is there are lots of sentences you may face that has two objects right two objects first one personal object that direct object personal means personal to the verb personal object and impersonal which is known as you know very well uh, which is known as indirect object what rules is what rules is rules is that whenever you are converting any active into passive you have to go through with the personal object first personal object like uh, ram eats a mango or ram is giving me a card because here two objects are here so ram is giving what is he giving card card is the main object so here card is the direct object you must take card in the place of subject a card is being given by ram to me right so here personal object must be taken you can take impersonal as well but what rule says that you must follow the first one but you can also make with this one also that i am being given a card by ram so we can use either of them but focus on personal object so for today this is enough i think just go through with the rules this will help you to convert into passive okay and the next class will be done uh, soon and we will uh, start with the examples that will be uh, easy for you to understand thank you very much